The Life Cycle of a Frog Frogs belong to a group of animals called amphibians. Amphibian means two lives. Amphibians spend their lives in the water and on land. All amphibians begin their lives in water with gills and tails. As they grow, they develop lungs and legs for their life on land. Frogs begin their lives in the water as eggs and then tadpoles and when they are fully developed, they live on land. Although frogs live on land, their habitat must be near swamps, ponds, or in a damp place. This is because they will die if their skin dries out. Instead of drinking water, frogs soak it into their body through their skin. Frogs breathe through their nostrils while also absorbing about half the air they need through their skin. Frogs can see forward, sideways, and upwards all at the same time. They never close their eyes, even when they sleep. Frogs use their sticky, muscular tongue to catch and swallow food. Unlike humans, their tongue is not attached to the back of its mouth. Instead, it is attached to the front, enabling the frog to stick its tongue out much further. Now, let's take a look at these frogs catch some grub. Frogs are cold-blooded animals, which means that their bodies are the same temperature as the air or water around them. When they are cold, they will lay in the sun to warm up. And when they get too warm, they will go into the water to cool their bodies off. Scientists have found frog fossils that date back to the Jurassic period over 140 million years ago. Frogs are found all over the world and in every climate except Antarctica. They can be found near any and every body of fresh water, but prefer ponds, lakes and marshes because the water doesn't move very fast. Frogs cannot live in the sea or any salt water. Now, let's take a closer look at the life cycle of a frog. The first stage of the life cycle of a frog starts off as an egg. When frogs mate, the male frog tends to clasp the female underneath in an embrace called amplexus. The male frog climbs on the female's back, reaches his arms around her waist, either just in front of the hind legs, just behind the front legs, or even around the head. Amplexus can last several days. While in the amplexus position, the male frog fertilizes the eggs as they are laid. Frogs tend to lay eggs in masses in freshwater ponds and streams. A floating clump of eggs is called a frog spawn. Some frogs leave after this point, but others stick around to watch over the little ones. The eggs become surrounded by a jelly-like covering, which protects the eggs. The eggs slowly develop, but only a few develop into full-grown adult frogs. This is because ducks, fish, insects, and other water creatures eat most of the eggs. Tiny tadpoles start their lives as black or brown dots in the center of an egg. As they begin to grow, you can see the egg wiggle inside the jelly. The tadpole eats the jelly from the egg and eventually works its way out of the egg, usually after 21 days. When tadpoles hatch from the egg, they have a long tail and gills for breathing in the water. Tadpoles eat plants and algae for several weeks as they grow larger. At this stage, the tadpole is extremely vulnerable and must rely on its camouflage to protect itself. As tadpoles grow bigger, they get tiny teeth and begin to eat small insects in the water. Tadpoles gradually change their appearance until they look like their parents. This process, called metamorphosis, might take a few weeks or several months, depending on the kind of amphibian the tadpole is. After about five weeks, the tadpole begins to change. It starts to grow hind legs, which are soon followed with four legs. At this stage, it is no longer called a tadpole, but rather a froglet. As a froglet is busy growing legs, his gills begin to disappear and he develops lungs for breathing. 11 weeks after the eggs were laid, a fully developed frog with lungs, legs, and no tail emerges from the water. The frog will mostly live on land with occasional swims. The tiny frog begins to eat insects and worms. Eventually, it will find a mate. 
The way this is done varies depending on the species. The female lays the eggs, the male fertilizes them, and the whole process begins again.